once again welcome you all in the today's session we are going to discuss intrauterine drug delivery system so let us move to the intrauterine drug delivery system this is a disclaimer for the viewers content in the intrauterine drug delivery system we are going to discuss introduction advantages and disadvantages of the intrauterine drug delivery system then development of intrauterine devices and the applications of intrauterine drug delivery system let us move towards the learning objectives i have set total five learning objectives so you will be able to define intrauterine devices you will be able to write advantages and disadvantages of the intrauterine drug delivery system you will be able to understand anatomy of uterus you will be able to develop intrauterine devices and you will be able to write the applications of intrauterine drug delivery system so these are the few learning objectives which i have set for the topic intrauterine drug delivery system so let us move towards the introduction to intrauterine drug delivery system intrauterine drug delivery systems are mainly used for the family planning so these are the devices which are used for the family planning so these systems or the devices are either medicated or the non medicated which exerts its contraceptive action in the uterine cavity continuously for a prolonged period of time without requiring patient motivation so these are the devices either these devices are medicated one or the non medicated one and they are placed into the uterine cavity and going to elix its action for prolonged period of time say for example one year to 10 years as i have said that these devices are divided into the non medicated iud's and medicated iud's so non medicated iud's exerts its contraceptive action by producing a sterile inflammatory response in the endometrium by its mechanical interaction in the case of non medicated iud the medicament is absent and it exerts its contraceptive action by producing a sterile inflammatory response in the endometrium by its mechanical interaction medicated iud's are those iud's that are capable of delivering the pharmacologically active anti fertility agents furthermore the medicated iud's are divided into the copper bearing iud's and the progesterone releasing iud's the non medicated iud's currently available for intrauterine contraception consisting of the ring shaped iud's made up of stainless steel and the plastic iud is fabricated from polyethylene or the polypropylene nowadays the ring shaped iud's are not available or not used approximately 100 million women worldwide currently use the iud's as a method of choice for the contraception and global intrauterine device market reached a value of us dollar 4 billion in 2019 and it is expected to grow 10 billion in 2025 so the intrauterine drug delivery systems are either medicated or non medicated which exerts its contraceptive action in the uterine cavity continuously for a prolonged period of time without requiring patient motivation so this is about the intrauterine devices let us move towards the advantages of the intrauterine drug delivery system it provides long term birth control from 2 years to 10 years so it is possible to control the birth for approximately 2 to 10 years it can be used by almost any woman including the nulliparous the onset of action of the iud is it is immediate once we have placed the iud 
we are getting the its action immediately iods are suitable for the breastfeeding women so these iods are suitable for the breastfeeding women no other medication stop them from the working suppose that any woman who is on the other medication other medicines are not going to stop the action of the intrauterine devices it provides alternative contraceptive choice if there is a difficulty taking the pills if the woman is having any problem related with the pills so it is a alternative option of the contraception it is convenient as a woman does not need to remember it daily or weekly like pills whatever the pills which are available in the market it should be taken daily and like like the pills there is no need to remember it once it is placed then it is it is for it is going to work for approximately 2 to 10 years it can be easily fitted and the removed from the uterine cavity fertility returns promptly on discontinuation of iod once the iod removed from the uterine cavity the fertility returns promptly it can be used safely by women who are on any type of the medication it is not associated with the cancer of any organ it is one of the cost effective way for the contraception it improves the patient compliance so these are the few advantages of the intrauterine drug delivery system more specifically the intrauterine devices let us see the disadvantages of the intrauterine drug delivery system it does not provide protection against sexually transmitted infections like condoms provide the protection against the sexually transmitted infections iods are not useful in unusual shape uterus and the in the case of pelvic infection so iods it is not useful in the pelvic infection as well as if the shape of uterus it is unusual it is not suitable in case of uh, heavy periods low iron levels and the endometriosis it may increase the likelihood of uh, ectopic pregnancy when we are using the intrauterine devices the menorrhagia is a frequent problem and may leads to discontinuation of uh, iods due to the abdominal pain uterine perforation may occur during the insertion of the iods there is risk during insertion and removal of the iod iod may cause systemic contraindications like uh, copper allergy then immunodeficiency disorders then immunosuppressive therapy wilson's disease acute liver diseases or liver carcinoma and breast carcinoma especially for hormonal iod multiple sexual partners for a patient or her partner so these are the things which needs to be considered when we are using the intrauterine drug delivery systems slight risk of acquiring uterine infection during iod insertion within 20 days of procedure expulsion of iod may occur especially following or during the periods in a first three months there may be chances of uh, expulsion of iod during the menstruation nausea vomiting headache and weight gain are the some of the side effects of the intrauterine devices so these are the some disadvantages of the intrauterine drug delivery system more specifically the intrauterine devices let us move towards the anatomy of the uterus so here look at the figure so this is the more specifically uterus it is divided into the fundus body and the uterine cavity so here it's a cervix this is the vagina so here it's a uterine tube this is the uterine tubular junction and these are the ovary so uterus is a pear shaped 
thick walled muscular organ suspended in the anterior part of the pelvic cavity uterus measures about 7.5 cm in length and 5 cm in breadth at its upper part and nearly 2.5 cm in thickness and the weight of uterus it is approximately 30 to 40 g fallopian tube so here which is not shown over here so the fallopian tube enter in its upper portion so there are two fallopian tubes are there this is one say for example this is second so the fallopian tube enters in the upper portion one on each side and the lower portion of uterus projects into the vagina so this is the vagina and this is cervix and the uterus lower part project towards the vagina uterine cavity it is normally triangular in shape and flattened anterior posteriorly as i have said that the uterus consists of the three main parts that is the fundus body and uterine cavity the wall of uterus so here it's a wall of uterus it consists of three layers very first one that is the endometrium second myometrium and third is the peritoneum or perimetrium so let us see the details of endometrium myometrium and perimetrium again look at the figure so here it's a uterine tube you have missed the fallopian tube so this is the actually fallopian tube which enters into the uterine cavity so this is a triangular shape uterine cavity the innermost layer that is the endometrium middle layer that is a myometrium and perimetrium it is a outside outermost layer that is known as the perimetrium which is not shown in the figure here it's a vagina so the look at the another figure in sac so this is the endometrium so full from here to here it's the endometrium and it is divided into the stratum basalis and stratum functionalis so the endometrium it is the inner coat of the uterine wall and is a mucous membrane it consists of epithelial lining and the connective tissues endometrium it is further divided into the stratum basalis and stratum functionalis that is the deep stratum basalis as it is a deepest layer and here outermost that is a stratum functionalis so the deep stratum basalis changes little throughout the menstrual cycle and is not shed at menstruation while the superficial stratum functionalis proliferates in response to estrogen and becomes a secretory in response to progesterone it is going to shed during the menstruation and regenerates from cell in the stratum basalis layer so at the menstruation whatever the stratum functionalis layer is there it is going to be shed off and furthermore it is going to be regenerated from the stratum basalis let us move towards the myometrium again look at the figure so this is the uterine cavity so here it's a perimetrium or peritoneum this is the middle layer that is a myometrium look at the another figure so here it's actually myometrium okay and uh, here it's a perimetrium so the myometrium this middle layer it is a thick muscular middle layer made up of a bundles of interlaced smooth muscle fibers embedded in the connective tissues cell of this layer undergo hypertrophy and hyperplasia during the pregnancy in the preparation to expel the fetus at birth 
peritoneum outermost layer it covers the external surface of the uterus so this is the external surface which is covered by the perimetrium or peritoneum which is then attached to both side of the pelvic cavity by broad ligament through which the uterine arteries cross so this is about the myometrium and the peritoneum so here with we have finished the introduction to intrauterine drug delivery system we have discussed the introduction definition advantages disadvantages and anatomy of the uterus thank you very much i hope you have enjoyed the session thanks once again